Okay, so we're here up at the off-grid cabin. We're gonna be installing a whole new solar panel array. Now I've got some help with me today because this is gonna be a huge job. Uh, we're gonna be installing 12 315 watt solar panels. Now normally I like to use the 100 watt solar panels, especially on a day like today, it's gonna to be very windy. So we have to be extra careful while we're carrying the panels not to drop anything. The 100 watt panels are a lot easier to handle when it's really windy. But we've got some treated lumber, some concrete, we're gonna make, it's about 16 feet wide by about 10 feet tall, a uh, big solar panel array. And this is gonna be uh, just shy of 3,800 watts all the way down to the Titan, down into the cabin. And now we've actually got some heavy duty eight gauge wire that's gonna run 350 feet down there. So if you wanna see how we build this solar panel stand, you won't wanna miss this video. Okay, so we've got the area mapped out for the ground mount. We're gonna have four rows of three posts, so 12 posts total. And then we've got our posts made up here that are gonna go on the ground. And now we're gonna send this spool of wire all the way down to the cabin. So you can see here, we put these spools up on this uh, big irrigation pipe that was up here on the property. And now it's just going all the way down the hill. And so they've got about 300 feet more to go. Okay, we've got the main frame done uh, right here. So now we're gonna slide up the, uh, the whole bracket here and we'll screw it onto here. And uh, that'll be the majority of it. And then we can set the rest of the posts in before uh, it gets too crazy windy because the wind's already picking up. Okay, we've got the basic stand in, but later on I'm going to extend this down right here and it'll be three panels by four panels, just like that. So I'll put in those other braces later on but right now we got the main posts in and uh, we'll get the rest of the panels on once the rest of the posts and braces are in okay this is pretty much it right here you can see this thing is pretty freaking sturdy i'm very happy with it of course it wasn't perfect i've never done this before just using uh, two by fours and treated lumber uh, concrete an auger i'm pretty happy with it so what we're going to do is going to go three panels wide and four panels tall and that's going to give us just about 3800 watts of solar now the max solar input of the titan's 2000 watts so what that means is that even on cloudy days or earlier in the morning we're going to be making a lot more power so we should never ever run out of power down there at the cabin so that means that the final piece to this is installing these big 315 watt panels what we're going to be doing is drilling a hole through the wood which will then match up to the little grommet hole on the back of the panel and we'll bolt it straight on and then uh, all we got to do is connect it up and we'll be good to go well we finished it up today it is super windy we're having gusts upwards of 30 to 40 miles an hour you can probably hear it in the mic right now uh, but we've got it up and we're just uh getting the last bolt in it looks like it's in right now now I've got to crimp the uh, eight gauge cables and get those ready for connection down to the Titan. So the way that we're gonna have this set up, is we're gonna have three panels connected in series. That'll bring it up to about 130 volts or so. And then we'll go all the way across with these being connected in series. And then these two female connectors will go into combiner. These two female connectors will go into combiner. And so this whole so top six panels and then the bottom six panels will become their own sets, their own arrays. And then each of these will go into their own individual cable down to the Titan. Okay, so I've got my eight cage cable here. This is gonna go all the way down to the cabin, 350 feet away. And what I've gotta do is I've gotta put these connectors on here. So I've got my bag of MC4 connectors. Now this is a little confusing because on the red cable, because we're extending the male connectors all the way down, we have to put a negative connector on here so it can connect to the male connectors up here. So it's a little backwards. So I'm gonna put the female connector here on the red cable and the male connector here on the black. Just like that, now I've got the female connector on here, do the same on the black, putting on the male connector. Ok, 
Okay, so these are my male connectors here from the panels. So these are the positives. So these go right into here. And then because this is a male end, and we need the other end of this big cable to be the male end, we had to put a female end on here, and that just connects in like that. I'm going to do the same on the uh, female and negative side. And we can see here, taking the female connector, which is the negative, connecting it right into there. Just like that. And take my heavy gauge, 8 gauge cable, just like that. So now this is ready to get plugged in down at the Titan. So now that I've done it with this first six panels, I'm gonna now do the exact same thing for the second set of six panels. Okay, so now we're done here at the cabin. We've got these cables all connected. Now when we're up top, I made sure to mark two cables with some tape here, because you do not want to mix up your positives and negatives and stuff up there. So I've got this cable going into this Titan connector, and then this set of cable going into this Titan connector. I've got them both plugged into the side here. Now, uh, because this is fully charged already, uh, we're making anywhere from 2,000 to probably 3,800 watts right now, but this is only showing a surplus of 448, and that's simply because we're at 100%. I have absolutely everything turned on in the cabin, uh, except for the oven and the microwave. And so, this being at 100%, and you can see this is slowly falling, um, and that's just because it's getting above 29 uh, volts. It stops charging with a wall charger at 29 volts. But with solar panels, it'll go a little bit higher. So we know that this is working. So I upgraded to this eight gauge cable because this 12 gauge cable was doing a decent job. But what ended up happening is some people ran into our solar panels. And after that, it just wasn't enough power. And because I'm putting basically 2000 watts into each set of cables. I wanted something much heavier, much stronger, because this is a 350 foot run. So the last thing I have to do is just tuck away these big cords, put them in behind the Titan here, and uh, the top's already all finished up and everything. And I'm really happy with the mount. Uh, it, with all the wind going on, it was not moving an inch. Uh, we were up there jumping around on it and everything, not a problem at all. I've been super happy. It should last 20 years at least with that treated lumber. It's been pretty crazy right now. I have not been able to source any of the piping or even 4x4s. That's why I had to use 2x4s. But it's all about adapting and overcoming. So we made it work. It's rock solid. I'm very happy with it. With that much power, it should really allow us to charge this Titan up, which has three batteries or 6,000 watt hours of battery capacity. I mean, we should be able to run permanently forever uh, without any issues because for here at the cabin each battery is about one day's worth of power and so we have about three days stored and then we're making so much power even on cloudy days this should always be topped off i'm pretty happy with it i hope you found this video really helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with someone who would find this interesting and of course definitely hit that subscribe button click the bell that way you get notified when i do more videos like this if you'd like more information please contact me at info at poweredportablesolar.com or you can also visit my website, poweredportablesolar.com and I've got lots of information there about solar and as well as other preps. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next time.